Over the next couple of minutes, I will review WebProof from the end user's point of view. As always, your only requirement to use WebProof is access to the internet and the correct username and password. Here is our navigator window, showing a listing of projects or jobs that you have access to. Simply click on a project name to start working with it. This is a great overview of all of the pages in the project you selected. As proofreader, you only need to focus on pages with the yellow status called New Proof. There are two of them here. The other pages already have been approved or have been reviewed and are awaiting new proofs to be produced. To start reviewing a particular page, just double click on it. WebProof opens that page by showing the current version on the left and the previous version, if there is one, on the right. You could also choose to review any two pages side by side. Just so you know, as you work, you can scroll through all other pages and their versions with the arrow buttons at the top. If you want to see what changes were made since the last version, press the Compare button at the top. You will see a line marked around any pixels that are different between the two versions on the left and right sides. In this case, there is a new F, 2003 was aligned with the text above it, and the ISBN number was moved to the left side of the barcode. If you want to have a beautiful pearl placed inside the oyster, just start a new sticky note and move the pointer box over to the oyster. You can also move the sticky note itself to where you want it. Then type place attached pearl here and upload the image of the pearl to the sticky note. It's as simple as that. If you want the cigar to be replaced, mark the cigar with a sticky note and type in the note replace cigar with a toothbrush. You can always change the color of sticky notes to ones you prefer. And at the top of each sticky note, you will see your name and date and timestamp. When you're done reviewing this page, you update the page status before closing it. Immediately, an email or SMS text message is sent to the graphic designer indicating they can now start to incorporate your changes in a new proof. And they will see all your sticky notes and uploaded files. Let's now review the other page. We magnify the page to 150% so we can read the text properly, and we discover that the small headline would be better blue instead. We start a sticky note and write instructions in it, and if we want the other two titles to be blue, we just add two extra pointer boxes. Smart, right? Now I'll show you WebProof User's most popular comment tool. It's called Highlighting and is enabled with the toolbar at the top. You simply click on the word and it is marked and automatically copied into a sticky note ready to edit. You do not have to write change this word to that word, just highlight and edit the word right in the sticky note. But this gets even better. If you want to change many things in a phrase, sentence, or paragraph, just highlight the whole section and all that text will be copied into a sticky note where you can make all the changes you want. People love this feature. It's so fast. For that matter, you can attach a word or a text file right to the sticky note too. Now you're actually finished proofing this document. Wasn't that simple? But there are other tools I just want to show you. Among other things, you can get a printout of any page with all sticky notes listed. You simply choose print and you have a page where all sticky notes and their details are gathered so you can double check if everything was done correctly. You can even invite someone who is normally not a WebProof user to review and comment on one or more pages. Simply right click, choose Express User, and write a few words which WebProof will email to them along with a link. The Express User will see only the pages you enabled and can use all the same proofing functions I just showed you. This feature is used by over 200 newspapers for the approval of artwork by advertisers. WebProof lets you search for text and numbers even in PDF documents. The resulting pages are shown in a list and the page will have the text marked for you to find easily. This is a great tool for search and replace type updates and can even be used to find client ads when all you know is their phone number. All activities in WebProof are logged. With this you can search, sort and filter on all kinds of fields to print listings to attach to your invoice. It clearly shows who asked for what changes and when, details one typically never writes down but performs anyway. All in all, WebProof logs are a wonderful help for comprehensive project summaries and billing. If you have many projects on the go, you won't have to check the progress of each project individually. You may, as you see here, simply right-click the Navigator folder at the level where you'd like to see all projects below it. Take a look. Here you have all projects listed with the total number of pages per job. For example, the project A Magazine has 16 pages and one page still has a new proof to be reviewed. 
Click on the colored status tag and this page will be shown for you to quickly review and correct. What a great way to focus on the last step holding back a job. I have shown you some of the most commonly used functions of WebProof. Remember that the only requirement on you is access to the Internet. WebProof works regardless of browser, whether on Mac or PC. If you would like to see a quick overview of the WebProof concept or WebProof functions, I welcome you to take just a couple of minutes to see the other videos.